Hi and welcome to our today's demo which is about open source load balancer and we will be covering the HA proxy which is a very well known uh, load balancer uh, within the uh, Linux environment. Uh, we were thinking about having a demo with uh, Facebook Kataram but unfortunately uh, we couldn't find uh, enough resources for creating that demo. Uh, in future, if we got enough resources, we definitely make a demo also with Qatar and which includes the support for, you know, accelerated hardware and we can do much more stuff with Qatar. Um, so keep it simple. Uh, today demo, we will do the pro HA proxy. So in our demo today, we will have a host. We will install HA proxy on that with this IP address. So this is the dedicated virtual machine we have for HA proxy. And we have two existing web servers, which is web server one and web server two. Uh, web server one and web server two, they both have HTTPD install and they are serving a static page on their default pages. Uh, web server one is a test virtual test web server. We call it test web server and web server two is a production web server. So we just call it production. Uh, so we have two labs here. For testing today, we will create a virtual IP on our HA proxy on port number 80 and we will load balance to both the web servers. So whatever traffic is coming on the port 80, it will be sent to web server 1 and web server 2 in a round robin basis. So we will we will modi verify that we will be have two pages on each server loaded and we can see the page is being served from which web server. So after that, we have another lab, which is about how we do the URL based routing from the HA proxy. So HA proxy is not just a layer four load balancer, but it can also do layer seven load balancing. So uh, when the U request comes to the HA proxy, uh, it can look at the URL, what URL is coming and based on the URL. So if the URL is ending with slash test, so HTTP column slash slash, you know, the IP address, the virtual IP slash test, HA proxy, which have to, has to route that request to the test web server. And if there is a slash prod, that one it has to get routed to the production web server. So we do the HTTP based or layer seven, layer seven based, uh, you know, routing using the HTTP, using the HA proxy. So that's our plan. So let's start with uh, testing our web servers first before we start getting into the HA proxy. So let's have a look at the uh, configuration of the web server one and web server two. Let me launch a web browser here. Okay, so we will browse to 192.168.211.171 and 192.168.211.172. These are the two IP addresses of our servers. Let's browse these. Uh, so this is the web server one. So we get this is web server one. So this is the default page on uh, this IP address. The, my IP address is this. And the 172, it says this is web server two and my IP address is this one. So we got two servers serving the default page on the, on the root folder. Now on the web server one, we got also a test folder, which says this is a test web server and IP address is 171 and here we have a production folder which says this is the production web server. So same servers they have a page here in a slash prod and a slash test and also they have a page web page inside the root folder. So in our first lab we will be load balancing between these two using the IP address of our the, uh, virtual load balancer when, when we create a virtual IP on our on our load balancer. So let's try to access to our uh, to the load balancer now. Okay, so let's launch our terminal. And from here, we will connect to our what was the IP of that. So it's 192.168.211.54. Actually, it is 154. Okay, so here let's do SSH root at 192.168.211.154. I have the SSH key loaded, so now I'm on the LB154. Uh, so this is a CentOS 7, and let's just install yum 
install ha proxy. That's that's all you need to do to install the ha proxy. And it's a very lightweight, just 834 kilobytes, and that's it. So ha proxy is installed. Now we will do a basic configuration inside the HA proxy. So the configuration file HA proxy is in slash etc HA proxy HA proxy dot sorry dot CFG. So this is the standard uh, basic configuration. Um, so in HA proxy is very simple. You need to create a virtual IP which is called front end. So virtual IP is in in HA proxy is called front end and the real server pool is called back end. So we need to create a virtual uh, virtual IP and we map that to a back end back end server or the real server. So here uh, there is some basic standard configuration it got, but we don't uh, need to do anything with that. So we start here with our front end. So we say front end, what we call it, we call it web server. virtual IP then we can say bind it to star on port 80 so all the IPs on the on the on the load balancer on the port 80 I can bind it also to a specific IP but just for now we keep it simple and we have to define that this virtual IP is going to talk to which web server which uh, real servers so we say default underscore backend is let's say call it web server underscore pool so these are the real servers that we are going to create now now here we will define our backend server so we will say backend web server virtual uh, web server underscore pool then we have the first thing that we have to say say balance this based on round robin so one request to one server another request to other server and then we define our servers here say server let's call it web server one and the IP address is 192.168.211.171 on port number 80 so that web server we know is working on port number 80 and we add a check also here so the check option here it keeps monitoring the server if the server goes down it will not send any request to the server it's just a monitoring and we'll add the other one the web server 2 at 192.168 211.172 on port number 80 and we also say check that okay okay now let's save this configuration and we will restart the HA proxy we can just say service HA proxy restart so these two uh, ears here is that you know the that standard uh, the default configuration which was there it didn't it doesn't have any real servers working so we can also stop that we can comment those lines but we can just keep it as it is for now let's do uh, let's check that if the server is now listening on the virtual ip so we say net dash you know let's see what server is listening on oh yeah so the server is listening on port number 80 and it is ha proxy is listening on that HA proxy also is listening on port number 5000 which is that uh, default configuration of the HA proxy which we didn't remove that we could remove that also from the configuration but HA proxy is listening now on port number 80 and once the traffic comes to the HA proxy on port number 80 it has to load balance to those two servers which we have and we defined so let's try and test uh, what's going on now Okay, so I go back to the browser. Let's open a new tab and we put the virtual IP 192.168.211.154. Okay, so now we got this is web server 2. Uh, if I refresh this page, it changes to web server 1. Refresh again web server 2, web server 1, web server 2, web server 1. So it's a complete round robin uh, request load balancing between these two. So that's how our virtual load balancer just open source virtual load balancer very lightweight is working that's how we made it working 
Uh, so right now our HA proxy, whatever request is coming, is being load balanced between web server one and web server two. So this was about our lab one. Now let's do our lab two, which is to do some URL based routing uh, for the HTTP. So whatever request is coming, if the URL ends with slash test, we will route it to test web server. And if this having the production slash prod, we will route it to the production web server. So let's do that configuration piece. Let's go back here and let's get into our uh, proxy configuration. And okay, here we go. Oh, this part I can delete this part because it's not required. Now this is lab one, so we could have a directive here and we can just comment out all of this because we don't want to do this. Sorry, this is also not required. So this was our lab one. Now from here, let's start creating the lab two. So front end, we say again, let's call it HTTP router. Uh, this binded to star port 80 again. And here now, you create the access list ACL. Let's call it test. And this access list will look for if the path underscore end slash i. So at the end of the path, let's say slash test slash. And uh, similarly, we say ACL prod if the path ends with slash prod. Okay. So now our HA proxy knows how to parse the request. So if the request is coming and it has a slash test slash, then it is matching actually inside the ACL test. But how do we tell the HA proxy to route this to the specific server? So we have a command now here that's called use backend. So use backend, which backend is called server test. And if it was test. So if test was successful, you have to use the use the server test backend, which we have to define later on. And use again backend server underscore production if production was defined and here now we start defining our backends so we have to define two backend servers so first one is srv underscore test now here we define you define the same thing we had here so we say server web server one at 192.168.21.171 on port number 80. You can also directly check. And then we say another one we have backend server production. So this is coming from here, right? Production. And we will say server is web server 2 at 192.168. 211.172 on port number 80. Also check that. Okay. So we got the HTTP router. It is binded on port number 80. It looks at the URL. If the URL ends with test or production, either of these two get selected. And if it is test, it, the server test will be used, the backend server test. Backend server test is here and it uses the web server one at this IP address to serve. So the the HA proxy will route that request to the to this web server. If the production, the route uh, the HA proxy will route it to the SRV prod backend server, which are having we have it here. Okay, so let's save the configuration now, and let's restart our server. Uh, HA proxy restart. We didn't get any error because we deleted those uh, previous configurations. Now let's do uh, testing here. Okay, so let's go back to our uh, browser. So here we have 192.168.211.154. Now if I add slash test, now we got, this is a test web server on the server one, right? So our test web server on server one, 171 is chosen. So the request is being routed to the server one. And if I say 
prod slash now it goes to production server on server 2 so this is the HA proxy now routing the request between these two servers so the request is coming it has a slash test it's landing here and if this has slash prod it lands here so with HA proxy, you know, it has lots of different uh, options. You know, it's a very robust, lightweight uh, load balancer. You can do lots of cool stuff with it as a standard, uh, just load balancer. You know, it's a very lightweight. You can load it in, in anything. It's, it goes very well also with, uh, with micro segmentation. So if you are creating uh, in your data center, uh, you know, a bundle of your application or a service, you know, you put your... Um, the, the front-end servers and back-end server, you can create a virtual load balancer also in front of your uh, your your front-end servers, and you know behind the fire behind one of one virtual firewall, for example, like uh, you know VYOS or or PFSense, you know that become a complete container, a virtual container with multiple virtual machine, including a proxy, including a uh, load balancer and including a firewall so everything that is required for application to an enterprise application actually to to uh, to work so this was our today demo about uh, uh, the open source load balancer or HA proxy and so if you have any questions please feel free to write it in the forum or you can contact me directly thank you very much